Galnet News Digest, 3rd of September 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, the winking cat throws up a masterpiece. Saps demand Valium. Void Opal prize offer for potential Pomesh usurper. The winking cat throws up a masterpiece. Notorious art thieves the Winking Cat crew turned into benefactors this week when they smuggled a long-lost artwork into the venue for this week's stage of the Alliance Festival of Culture. Garden City Gallery on Turner's World fell victim on 8th of June last year to the daring theft of Barclay Oaksor's adaptive U-scape sculpture, which changed its appearance to match the mood of its observer. Since then, Iotiensis has lost the New Dawn collection, Mars has lost its New Year hollow sculpture, and pieces by Rembrandt, Picasso and Okeke. In each case, an image of a winking cat was left in place of the artwork. But now the winking cat has returned a piece that disappeared many decades ago to that same Garden City gallery that was the scene of their first crime. Pennant Street by Megan Madigan, was lost in mysterious circumstances while being transported 60 years ago. And the lost painting was subject to a moving tribute in July this year in Lave. But now it has materialised, accompanied by a winking cat motif, inside the heavily guarded gallery. Experts have confirmed that this is indeed the original artwork. But there's no indication how the winking cat crew came by the painting, nor how they smuggled it into the gallery. The finale of the Alliance Festival of Culture takes place next week in Deso. Is it too much to hope that all the artwork stolen by the winking cat crew over the past year might be returned to that event, bringing an awful lot of off-camera events to a neat conclusion? Saps demand Valium. The Sap Corps Legion, guardians of Hiker Ceremonial Tea, plan to build a hospital and they want your help. Hiker Tea was used, initially unwittingly, to cure the ravages of the Cerberus plague that spread widely in 3301 and again in 3302. Given to victims of the plague to relax them, Hiker Tea was found to have a remarkable restorative effect, and supplies of the brew eventually led to the plague being wiped out completely. The new hospital will be a centre for disease control and will also double as a medical facility for those injured in the war between Thargoids and humanity, which presumably means that at least some of the beds will be octagonal. Professor Macklin Fox, who speaks on behalf of the Sap Corps Legion, has appealed for supplies of advanced medicines, medical diagnostic equipment and thallium. Void Opal Prize Offer for Potential Pomesh Usurper The unusually named buckyball racer, Turk Winif, has offered a prize of up to 3 billion credits for any commander that can beat his time on the Pomesh Ridge Challenge SRV time trial. For the blue, red and black runs, Commander Turk Winif has recorded times of 4 minutes 9 seconds, 7 minutes 16 seconds and 9 minutes 11 seconds. By way of comparison, Commander Aid Levice achieved times on these runs of 21 minutes and 14 seconds, 41 minutes and 41 seconds, and 1 hour, 8 minutes and 45 seconds, which earned him a thank you for trying so hard, Rosette. If someone can hand in video evidence that they've beaten all three of Turk Winif's times, then they will receive 1,800 Void Opals, as well as a modest number of Arcs, as their prize. So if you win, don't forget to bring your cargo limpets. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to.